Hello everybody. This is Yoko's Bad of Enemy Reactions and this is gonna be my review recap for episode 196, A Fairy Tale. Or episode 21 no, uh yeah, episode 21 of uh Fairy Tale 2014 if you want to get technical with that. Uh This episode I was not expecting what happened in it. Obviously, everyone is still having a hard time against the dragon, dragons, and the little dragons. Makes me wonder how many, how many of those little ones did the big one create? Because there seems like there's no end to them. Anyway, Ultir is getting really down on herself, thinking that, you know, if she's a horrible person for even suggesting, you know, killing their rogue in order to stop future rogue, because that's an actual solution. It's not the ideal solution, but it's an actual solution that would make sense. You know, it's not obviously ideal because we'd be killing someone who had, who has not done anything wrong in that sense, but it is an actual solution. It's a like I said, not the ideal one, but it is a solution. And that she can't can't atone for what she's done in her life, which is uh, many things, including manipulating Jalal into constructing Tower Heaven, hurting everybody, killing Simon, blah blah blah, blah all that stuff. And uh, what she did to what else did she do? Uh, well, the whole Kagura and Sting, Simon's brother, blah, 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 with that, and Meliana, of course. Oh, that's all directly tied to the whole Jalal thing. What else did she do? Oh, the whole Grimoire Heart thing, that, all, all that was not good. And while this is going on, people start getting into very hopeless situations, like Jet and Troy are in a situation where they could get killed, they could get killed, essentially. And I think... Do they get killed? It's kind of unknown, but there is one death that we do know of in this episode. Uh, but anyway, Happy it runs into... Uh, Romeo... Uh... Mako and... Oh, what was his name? Uh... My house friend. I can't even know what his name is off the top of my head, but he runs into them. They're hiding out in an abandoned, uh, broken down building. We you know why they're fighting off, uh, the dragon things. And he tries to get them to, you know, go with him. But, uh, Happy, they tell Happy, you know, go on without us. We'll be fine. We're fine. And Happy reluctantly leaves without them. A walkabout. That was his name. That was what his name was. I could. I had to think for a second. I had to think back on something Mira said back in one of the earlier episodes of the show, where the guy was hitting on her, and she said, "Well, there's one problem with that walkabout. Uh, walkabout. You've already got a wife." I had to remember for a second. But um, yeah, that happens, and Natsu and Atlas Flame are fighting Future Rogue and the Mother Dragon. And uh, the dragon slayers are having a va are essentially having the same effect as the others were having on the dragons, which is not good. So yeah, even the dragon slayers are even if it's slay dragons, which is freaking well. First of all, it's kind of pathetic, but then again, the dragons are on a whole other level than they are at this point, so. Anyway, uh, uh, Meredy ends up running into Juviet, Gray, and Leon, and Gray has to push them down out of the way to avoid some attacks. And um, Gray's hand ends up on her uh, Juvia's tushy, and she's obviously blushing and freaking out about it. And, um, yeah, this is where things get bad. 
Gray is trying to talk to Druvian, we don't even get to find out what he was going to say in the first place. Because as he's talking to her, uh, Leon tries to get Juvie to get out of the way, and she turns around, and a dragon is a dragon thing is attacking her. But it's getting way too close. It's like this close to her, essentially, in this in the shot. And Gray pushes her at de- her out of the way. But I don't get why he didn't just do the same thing he just did a moment ago, which is, you know, plop down and push them both out of the way, both of them out of the way, instead of just Juvia. Because when she di- when he does that, he takes the full force of the attack and what looks like where his heart is. The we've been fooled by that before, where people have taken damage like that before and they've survived. And we're thinking, oh, okay, maybe Gray will survive that. And then multiple attacks, smaller size it would looks like, get him in the torso. And we're thinking, oh, maybe he'll survive that. No. The last shot for this episode is Greg taking a hit right in the head. Going right through his head like a headshot. And that is the first headshot that I've seen in this show. And usually a headshot is the fatal kill, essentially. So, unless something changes, we just lost Greg through a headshot. So... Yeah, that is not what I was expecting. I knew something bad was going to happen because in the opening, uh, Juvia ends up turning around in tears as something is going on, you know, in front of her. So obviously something bad was going to happen. We just didn't know what it was. So, yeah, um, I was not expecting that at all. If you want to give your comment on this whole thing, you know, feel free to let me know what you think of it. And... I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you all next time.